Welcome back to the show. My guest tonight is probably one of the most successful guests we have ever had on this show. Sorry, Jamie Oliver, but people are still fat here in Huntington. The kids need to have for lunch. <laughs> he helped Marshall win their first national championship in 1992. He then went on to play in the NFL for 15 years for the New England Patriots. What did he do? Did he do anything there? He yeah. just hang, was he like I, he might have led them in receptions maybe, maybe. and he also might have won three Super Bowl three, champions three please welcome Troy Brown good to see you good to see you this is Kyle how you doing Kyle oh, man. All right. have a seat Troy thank you for coming on the show that, big uh, one Troy Brown Mr. Troy Brown yeah. come on yeah. Oh my god. Thank you for having me, man. It took you 100 episodes to have me on oh, the show. Oh, come so. on. We try to get you from day <laughs> one. Now, you know, it's funny. If, I, we were t joking earlier about your list of accomplishments. We could fill this entire show with how many records you have broken, how many you hold, and just what kind of person you are. This past summer was pretty big, wasn't it? College Football Hall College of Fame? College Football Hall of Fame. Uh, it was a, a great time. I got to take my kids out there, man, and enjoy it with me. With me and. Uh, you know, go out and see, uh, went out to Notre Dame, got to see Touchdown Jesus. We took pictures with all that stuff, man. And, you know, just a, a great experience. And just, uh, I think it was just a, you know, a good way to say I had a great college career and I played with a lot of great college players and, and had some excellent coaches, man. So, uh, you know, a way to kind of bring my career to a close, my total career to a close is being inducted into the, the College Football Hall of Fame. Well, let's not, I mean, this don't end it now. I mean, you're sitting next to me, so you can add that in, <laughs> onto your career too, right? I'm not playing football right no, now. No, you're not. Yeah. Now, do you miss it? Do you, you miss not playing football? Be honest. Well, I, I tell you what, I didn't have a hard time like I thought I would. You, you talk to so many guys who were, that I played with who had a hard time with it and guys that, you know, start drinking a lot and, <laughs> You know, and won't get out to bed because they're depressed and that type of stuff. Are you talking about Kyle? <laughs> I'm, talking I don't know, about, he's I'm he, talking about Kyle over here. He calls I'm, little, I'm surprised he's at work today. Before. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, but no, you, you, you see, you see that's, that's the sad part about our, our job is you see guys that go through that and, you know, um, just uh, can't function without football in their lives. And I didn't really go through that. You know, right. I, I, I went through a period where, you know, I thought I could, you know, make a comeback and started working out a little bit. And then you look up and like, man, you know, what the hell am I doing? Here, you know? <laughs> It's like I played, you know, 15 years and I've got three Super Bowl rings. What else can I ask for, you know, and, and I'm happy. And I'm just doing, doing this to my body, just destroying myself even more. So I'm like, you know, it's, it's, it's time to give it up. But I still, I can say that it, during the playoffs, I still have times where, you know, I wish I was out there playing and do it because, uh, you know, it's just something inside of me that, that, that just clicks when the playoff starts. And, it's go time. And, it? I, and I feel it. Well, you, I mean, you're not playing, but you're kind of the next best, best thing because you were calling football for the, well, IMG, Thunder and Herd Sports Network. There mm -hmm. you go. Brett, Drew, Jason, I threw a shout out for you. <laughs> there you go. You were sitting next to Steve Codden and Frank Gardini mm -hmm. this past year. Yeah. What was that experience like? Uh, you know what? It, it was pretty, pretty fun. You know, it was my first time actually doing play-by-play -play stuff. Um, you know, I was raw at it and nervous about it, and, and, and uh, Frank asked me to come on and do some games this year with them, and I said, why not? You know, I'll give it a shot because, you know, I'm, I'm doing that type of stuff now and seeing if I really like it or not. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a really good time doing the show, man, and, I, and, and hopefully I was good enough that the people understood me and could follow the game a little bit better because I was on there, and, and, and I, I explained the game to them in a way that, you know, the, just the, just the regular fan can sit back and like, oh, and I don't understand what happened on that play, you know, so I'm, I'm pretty pleased about that. I think you did an outstanding job, and, and I have the luxury, too. I sit next to you in the box. Uh, we're in the uh, PA booth right next to you he, all. He's the guy staring at you. Yeah, I'm the guy staring at you all game going, that's Troy Brown, I want him on my show. Uh, but, no, I mean, you're always in there. You always have a smile on your face, and I notice you're you're pointing things out, and you're really you're, you really get into it, and so much so that the fans, when something's going wrong on the field, I've noticed a few of them turn around and look at you and just go, "What do we do?" And you're like, "Well, I don't know. You know, we got to make our adjustments." But yeah. we're getting back to it. Marshall football is getting back to where it was when you played. Are you looking forward to that? I'm I mean, looking forward to that. You know, and I, I see a lot of good positive signs that Doc Holliday's brought to the program, and. Uh, just the attitude of the kids, and, and he holds the kids uh, you know, accountable for everything they do, you know, good and bad. Right. And which is, which is, as a coach, you have to do that. Sometimes you can tear kids down too much and not build them back up, you know, but you know, I think he's doing a good job of doing a little bit of both. And uh, so I, I really see the program going in the right direction. They have a lot of, a ton of talent over there, a lot of speed, a lot of quickness, and, you know, that type of stuff. And now you have to get the attitudes right and, and make sure they can handle disappointments as good as they can handle the ups in the program too. So that's really important also because you know, sometimes it's easy to fly high. Mm -hmm. You know, it's when you're, when you're low 
you got you got to pick yourself up is when you kind of struggle sometimes. But you know, I, I think he's you know delivering that message to the kids that you have to be the same person whether things are going good or bad, and and you have to continue to try to work hard at everything you do. Now, again, I mean, sitting next to Troy, he's, he's spouting this out. This is amazing. I was like, I can get a pregame pep talk here. Do you give this to your kids at home too? I mean. That's another thing. He, his kids are always with him at the game, and, and they just sit there and they, they watch the game. What is it like being dad? Tell me about that, going out uh, and, and going to soccer games or going to basketball games. What is that like for you? It's a job. <laughs> you know, yeah. It's a job. I mean, uh, now that I'm retired, you know, it, but, you know, I couldn't ask for a better job than, than that one. You know, I absolutely enjoy being, being a father to my kids. Um, I don't want to miss a moment, you know, of, of them growing up again. You know, I mean, just I try to make everything, all the games and, you know, get them there. I'm in the schools, you know, making sure they're doing their work. You're making and breakfast in the so, morning, uh, lunch, and uh, shipping you know, out you know, the door. Th things that my mom couldn't do for me because she was working all the time and, you know, and, and, and just couldn't be there and, and just didn't know, you know. So, I mean, not that she was a bad mom, but she was a wonderful mom, but she just couldn't be there and didn't know. But so I, I learned from her mistakes and, 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 and I try to, you know, carry them on to my kids and make sure they uh you know, doing what they're supposed to be doing and then giving them everything they need to be successful. But I tell you, I, I used to have like, you know, 10, 15 rules for them and I just narrowed it down for them, you know, and I gave them three rules. <laughs> what I are told they? them to always treat people the way you want to be treated, always work hard and be safe. There you go. So that's it. Rules to live by Troy yeah. Brown right there. Now, yeah. one more question really quickly. You are Troy Brown. You're here in Huntington. I bet everywhere you go, people ask for your autograph and, you know, you just sign off and everything's cool, right? You don't mind that? No, I, I don't mind that. You know, I, I, this is, I, this I is the, to I Kyle, the, to I Kyle the, from Troy Brown. I have the patience of Job, man, when it comes to this type of stuff, you know, and, you know. I know it's kind of hard to write on that. Stay sober. He just <laughs> wrote, stay sober. <laughs> We've just coined you a There we go. There we go. My mom's so, uh, around. You've got to do one for me, too. I don't normally ask. You've got to yeah, do one for me, so, too. But, uh, Troy Brown, everyone, we'll be right back with something I've been told we're going to have a special, special surprise walk through those doors. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.